I am Cameron, and my project is on the nutrition of school lunches. The problem is that students are provided with free school breakfasts and lunches, so they're probably going to choose this option over packing their own lunch because this, these school lunches are more accessible with the new free school lunch plan that was put into California, and it's overall easier. And so these options are plentiful. There's a lot of them, but they're not that plentiful in things like protein, essential vitamins, and produce, and things that are going to help with the growth and well-being of students. And so with this lack of nutritional gain, students aren't getting the essential nutrients that they need. This is important because having school food that's good for you can have a lot of benefits like growth because we're going growing throughout high school, improving focus, and overall performance and strength in school sports or physical activities that they do outside of school. And this will help students on sports not getting as many injuries from fatigue and not eating properly if these school lunches aren't um, full of the nutrients that they need. And research has shown that receiving free or reduced price school lunches reduces food insecurity, obesity rates, and poor health, which is why it's imperative to have healthy school lunches. This relates to chemistry because all food is made up of chemical substances like amino acids, vitamins, proteins, fats, carbohydrates, and more. And it also relates to chemistry because of the properties within food and how they're processed throughout the body and how we, uh, the body reacts to it. And this shows how it affects students' overall health.